for Markle and a long way back is Parcel then King's nephew. This is the second last fence and they're still both full of running, still going great guns both of them. It's Millhouse on the inside, jumped it only just ahead of Arkle. Now they're rounding the home turn and this is it. And Willie Robinson's got his whip out and Pat Taff is shaking up Arkle. And this is the race now to the last fence. It's Arkle on the stand side for Allen and Millhouse for England on the far side. And this is it with Arkle just taking the lead as they come to the last fence. It's going to be Arkle if he jumps it. Arkle coming to the last now. And Arkle a length here and Milhouse is over and clear. Milhouse is trying to challenge him again, but it's Arkle on the stand side. Milhouse over on the far side, coming up towards the line. And Arkle is holding him. Arkle going away now from Milhouse. This is the champion. This is the best we've seen for a long time. Arkle is the winner of the World Cup. Milhouse win his second Gold Cup, the first horse to do so since Lescargo in the early 70s, and best mate by five or six lengths to Valley Henry, the second last. Best mate, a lovely jump there. Valley Henry clambered through it in second. Then in third place is Chives. Trucker's Tavern stays on, but closing to the final fence is best mate and Jim Cullity. He puts himself right over it. Best mate by a dozen lengths. Trucker's Tavern running a massive race into second place. Then Little between the two at the second last drum log and his third Scott Lane four Brown Chamberlain and Barra Hill lad together Brown Chamberlain jumps out to the right a little bit it's Brown Chamberlain on the near side Barra Hill lad on the far side there's nothing between them John Franken and Phil Tuck at the final fence Barra Hill lad lands in the lead on the far side it's Brown Ch it's Barra Hill lad on the far side Brown Chamberlain on the near side Drum Lodge and his third, they're racing into the closing stages. Butter Hill out on the far side. Brown Chamberlain getting a great sprint out of the rails on the near side. But Butter Hill is going to hold him and win the Gold Cup. Butter Hill that's the winner. Brown Chamberlain is second. Drum Lodge and his third. now coming to the second last fence in the Gold Cup. And it's the Dickler being pressed by Captain Christie. The Dickler and Captain Christie land together. Game Spirit back in third. And Captain Christie's going the best. It's Captain Christie for Ireland and Bobby Beasley and Ron Barry and the Dickler on the far side. And Captain Christie looks as though he'll win it if he jumps it. Captain Christie jumps the last and he's nearly down. He's nearly down. The Dickler regains the lead. The Dickler goes back into the lead, but Captain Christie fighting back. And Captain Christie goes to the front again and striding up to the line. And Captain Christie's going to win the Gold Cup. And at the line, Captain Christie is the winner. The Dickler is second. And a very, very it's well clear. Carville's Hill over it. He's got one fence now between him and victory. And his stable companion is pursuing him. A qualifier, but he's just got to jump it. Carville's Hill to become a red hot favourite for the Gold Cup. Carville's Hill jumps it clear. He's won it. He's won it already. Racing up into second is going to be a qualifier as he jumps the fence. Party politics third, but the Nanza boys finishing fast to try and make it a one, two, three. Getting a tremendous. Second from home, but Q Card is galloping on in great style at the moment from Michael Flips and Silviniaco Conti. He's still a couple of lengths ahead. Silviniaco Conti is now moving into second place, but it's Q Card with a definite lead coming down towards the final fence. He's brilliant at it as well. Q Card, that was a mighty good jump from Q Card, and uh, although the time will be very slow, Q Card has answered all the questions so far this afternoon for Gene Bishop, Joe Tizard, and Colin Tizard. Q card wins. Michael Flips is in second place. He's run really well. Siviniarco Conti. Run and skip. Dawn run. Wayward land and forgive and forget. Coming there strongly on the stand side at the second last. Run and skip, dawn run, wayward lad, forgive and forget, still coming there strongly on the near side. Forgive and forget on the near side, now as they come to the final fence, forgive and forget is going to jump marginally in the lead from wayward lad. Forgive and forget on the near side, wayward lad on the far side, it's wayward lad, the veteran trying to break his jump of hoodoo, being pressed now by dawn run in the centre, forgive and forget on the near side, as they race to the line, and the mares begin to get up, and as they come to the line, she's made it! Dawn Run has won it! Dawn Run has won it from Wayward Lad! And John 
and Ruby Walsh from Moss Bank on the outside. Davy Russell in the center is the listener, and Daryl Jacob, but Denman leads Moss Bank and the listener in fourth is B for Salmon. Final fence in the Lexus chase, and it's Denman over in front of Moss Bank. Then comes the listener, and on the run up towards the finish, it's Denman and Ruby Walsh from Moss Bank. The listener and B for Salmon staying on again as they race up towards the finish. It's going to be another big one for Ruby Walsh and Paul Nichols. What a hand he's got in the Gold Cup. Ruby and Denman win the Lexus, and it's going to be a photograph for second. Get up on the inside with Charter Party third. Desert Orchid and Yahoo now as they race round the home turn. There's very little between them. Yahoo on the far side. He's gone on now from Desert Orchid towards the near side. Yahoo from Desert Orchid on Desert Orchid. Looks as though he's tiring in the ground. Yahoo, who loves the mud, is full of running at the second last. Yahoo jumps from Desert Orchid, but Desert Orchid is running. He's trying to come again towards the near side. It's Yahoo on the far side. Desert Orchid towards the near side. Desert Orchid's accelerating as they come to the last. Yahoo on the far side. Desert Orchid. and Ruby Walsh on the far side route to riches Brian Cooper near side is Don Cossack and Paul Carberry at the second last three in line they're on the run of the final fence Q Card is in fourth it's Jack and Dam a follower is the joint poster and on the near side Don Cossack laying down a serious challenge now to Jack and Dam and over the last the leader is Don Cossack and Paul Carberry running up towards the finish and Don Cossack is striding away with the baby financial services Ireland punches down Gold Cup, he's been a revelation this season. Don Cossack for Paul Carberry, Gordon Elliott and Jiggenstown. Coming up towards the final fence now, and it's flying both well clear of Scottish memories. And Salvina is only going to jump in. He's a long way clear in the Massey Fergus in the top way. Flying Bolt coming to it here as quick he's up over and striding away from it. Second just jumping it now. It's Scottish memories. Then comes Salvina. Salvina out jumps Scottish memories at that one, racing up towards the line. Flying Bolt going away to win in great style this Massey Fergus. It's going to be a very near thing for second place, but at the line, Flying Bolt is the winner. To Davy Condon as they run downhill with two to jump. Cotto Star coming there strongly on the outside. Night Legend the inner. They're clear of Light on the Broom in third. The listener remote fourth. So they approach the second last. Cotto Star is eased into the lead. Has gone on a few lengths. Cleared of Night Legend second. Light on the Broom back in third. At the second last. Cotto Star over and clear by five or six. Night Legend second. Light on the Broom third. And then the listener. But down to the final fence. In the JNWine.com champion chase, Cotto Star over and clear. Night Legend pressed for the second by Light on the Broom, but on the run in, Cotto Star a long way clear. He's going to justify odds on favouritism, recording his ninth grade one success. Wins it in great style. Cotto Star back with a bang for Ruby Walsh and Paul Nichols. Light on the Broom runs a smashing race. To Second last fence in the 1971 Gold Cup. Les Gargo, last year's winner from the novice Leapfrog. Tommy Carberry from Val O'Brien. And it's Les Gargo, the sheepskin noseband, in the lead from Leapfrog over on the far side. Les Gargo over, Leapfrog over second. They're coming to the last now. Les Gargo from Leapfrog. An Irish 1-2 at the moment with the Dickler in third place. It's still Les Gargo. Les Gargo looks as though he's only got to jump it now. Last year's winner coming to it. He's obviously tiring though. He's jumping a bit to the right. Les and... 
Leapfrog not far behind him. They've got 150 yards to run, and it's Les Gargo from Leapfrog. The Dicklers jumped it third. Interview's just coming to jump it fourth and racing up towards the line. It's Les Gargo holding Leapfrog well as he runs to the line. He's going to win the Gold Cup for the second year in succession, getting a great round of applause. Les Gargo is the winner of the 1971 Gold Cup. Second is Leapfrog. The Dickler looks as though he's just... House, well clear over, well clear of four. Trier in second place, Duke of York third, Longtail four, and Caduval five. Coming up to the final fence now, and it looks as though Millhouse has only got to jump it to win the Gold Cup, going very powerfully and strongly. Millhouse, the young six year old, written by Willie Robinson. Four Trier's in second place, and Duke of York is finishing very fast on the stand side. Coming up to the final fence now, Millhouse and the crowd cheering him home as he comes to the last. Millhouse has just got to jump it to win. He's up and he's over. He very nearly stumbled there, but he's over and clear and striding up to the winning post, and it's Fort Trier gallantly chasing him with Duke of York. Millhouse going well clear. Fort Trier after him, but no chance of catching him. Duke of York in third place. Up to the line now, and Millhouse, the six-year-old, is the winner. Between him and victory in the King George Triple Print Chase. Come down towards the second last, and one man, Barton Bank, has been pulled up. One man has it, and he's gone 10-12 clear of Michel Curie in second. Master Oates plugging on well in third. Then Vera the Lane. Mary Gale has been pulled up. This is the final fence, and it's one man comes to it, and he is spring-heeled. And it's Richard Dunwoody driving home clear on one man going to land his 13th win. Another improving grey horse. He's come from the north to conquer. Despite those fitness doubts, one man is going to raise the roof and take the King George Triple Bridge chase at the post. One man the winner. Monsieur Le Cure back on the premises in second. Master Rhodes is third. Then we have... And Pendle cruising up to join Inkslinger. Inkslinger on the far side, on the left, from Pendle on the near side, then the Dickler. And it's Pendle now, ears pricked towards the right of the picture. Ink Slinger, the white cap towards the far side, Tommy Carberry. Pendle's going to touch down just in the lead, he does. But Dick Pittman has hit the front plenty early enough, and he doesn't like to be in front too long, this horse, but he's only cantering. This is real class, this is. Here's Pendle, unbeaten in five races at Kenton, coming to win his second King George the Sixth chase. Another beautiful jump, he's right away from the fence. He's striding up towards the line now. And Dick Pittman and Pendle going away from Ink Slinger over on the far Side, the way back in third and up the line. Two more to jump. Four seen more business. This is the second last. Comes to it. And he's over okay to go ballistic in second and Dr. Lunt in third. And so with one more fence to jump. But we know from previous experience that this fence has been so crucial in the past. But see more business coming into it. And he sees a stride. He gets away well. And so the champion prevails. See more business comes home to win his 11th race. The second time he's taken the Potemkin King George at the line. See more business. A true champion second horse home is go ballistic from sunset crystal and diamond edge over the second last fence and silver buck landed in the lead from Bragorn and sunset crystal and diamond edge and it's the two stable companions of the astonishing finale to the gold cup this Silver Buck from Bragorn, the Michael Dickinson train. Silver Buck lands in the lead, Bragorn jumps in second, Diamond Edge third and Sunset Cristo third. And it's Silver Buck from Bragorn as they race into the closing stages. Silver Buck still being pressed by Bragorn as they race up towards the line. Silver Buck from Bragorn, the Michael Dickinson duo. We're going to finish one two at the line. Silver Buck wins it, Bragorn is second. Sunset Coming down to the second last, and Wayward Lad now comes through. Uh, they dispute the lead, two out this, and Wayward Lad led. Mighty back in second place, Brown Chamberlain is third. And one more fence to jump, and it's Wayward Lad in the lead. From Brown Chamberlain in second place, Wayward Lad the leader. From Brown Chamberlain in second, the Mighty Mac is third. As they come down to the final fence in the King George for chase, at uh, which Mighty uh, Wayward Lad jumped it very smoothly and in the lead. Going on from Brown Chamberlain as they come up towards the line. Wayward Lad's going to win it by some three to four legs. Wayward Lad's going to win it at the line. Wayward Lad is the winner from Brown Chamberlain in second. And then came the Mighty Mac third and behind these, okay, $50 more.